Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch Run. Um, nope, these don't look like Steven. We're looking for a guy with white hair, uh, much like the um, Mr. Stone. So, the only place that's really here is Granite Cave. So, we can talk to this guy. Awfully dark ahead, it'll be tough trying to explore. Well, for us hikers, helping out those that we meet is our motto. We get TM70 Flash. Normally, Flash used to be a um, HM. So we want to go in this path. Cutting line is no bueno. The mural ahead, we can't figure out what painted it. No, what's painted there, but that makes ruined enthusiasts like me even more curious about it. it looks like it's a huge Pokemon, but we've never seen such a Pokemon. So intriguing and fantastic. The mural ahead has drawn a lot of attention lately. The other day, teams something in red or blue suits came here in numbers. Yes, so Team Aqua, it looks like, or uh, someone in red suits. It's weird that they had both those listed. Uh, but Team something or other seems to have caused the problem. And we can run into Makahitas here. Uh, not the biggest threat. There are some good fighting types. Um, not the one I would use, honestly. If I could get a Mach off, I'd probably go with it over Makahita. But, I mean, getting a Mach off itself would be annoying. And we got. Uh, we took out the Makahita. Let's head out of here because we seem to not be able to uh, go any further thanks to the Ruin Maniacs. Uh, so, maybe Steven's not there. I was born in a village far from the sea, so I've always dreamed of coming to Hoenn. A village far from the sea. Interesting. So you came from a different region then, because nowhere in Hoenn is... Well, you even said coming to Hoenn. So I guess you were referring to a different region. Slackoff. One of the ones I actually quite like. I like Slackoff because um, they become a really powerful Pokemon. We actually get to see that later. Um, its ability, however, makes it nearly unusable for the beginning of the game. Um, it's got a much better ability in its second form, but he gets the same ability back on the last form. But that guy is such a powerhouse, even with that ability, he's not too, too crippled. What do people do if they need to go take a break? What if my rod hooks a big one while I'm in the washroom? I can't just leave. You could just not have your rod cast out while you're in the washroom. We're up against Fisherman Ned, who has Tentacool. Another water type. We're not too, too worried about it. We've got now we've got ground on our side. We'll be fine. Uh, the downside being, of course, now we're also uh, normal to water. Awkwardly enough, our water type can be weak to water. But we're just going to rock tome twice, and I think that's enough to take Tentacool out. And a good one damage from Constrict, but Tentacool is down. Um, yeah, nothing too too much from that one. Steven is for sure in that cave, but I wanted to clear out this route up here just in case. Because uh, I do think I'm going to need a little more experience than where I was at right there. We can also we'll heal up right here at the Pokemon Center. don't think there's any special things around here. Uh, you could get a, saw, a silk scarf, I think is what it is, uh, if you went to one of these houses that boosts normal type attacks. Unfortunately, I don't think that um, tackle is going to be that needed for this. You. Yes, I'm getting the itch to fish. We obtained the old rod. Um, the, po the weird thing is, it's really difficult to get some of the rods at some places, but... Uh, like, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head where the good rod is or where the super rod is. What do you have to say, random people? Yeah, no, nothing interesting from this guy. Let's head over to the next gym. Oh. A big wave in fighting. So he's either water or fighting. What do you have to say, um, guy, guy? Going against normal fighting Pokemon will lay a serious smackdown on normal types, so stay on your toes. There's also a vending machine where you can buy fresh waters. We don't need any fresh waters. They're good heals though. They're effectively super potions for cheap. 
step one, we are up against the Battle Girl Laura with Meta Teddy. So this is going to be, these are always good examples of what you're going to run into in the gym. So you can already see we're going to be running into Meta Teddy there. Um, not the biggest threat really. Um, but Mud Shot, what is Mud Shot? Oh, but it does say worry about detect because it's going to be an annoyance. Mud Shot, not a water move but it does still lower its speed. Meditate would be really useful if you really had a chance of... Oh, Endure! Alright. Endure basically gives them the sturdy ability for a turn. So it's... and you can use it multiple turns in a row. Potentially, meaning you can stall out if you use like Future Sight or something. That a move that's going to hit in a few turns, or if you had, um, what is it, um, Leech Seed, like the Shroomish Leeches earlier, or that sort of thing. So you can see there's hidden side paths, like the uh, locker rooms, and we can't walk up that one. So we just have to walk to the left and around, and we're good to fight this guy. Only the main hallway is left. Might is right. Come on. Alright. Black Bell Tadeki, what do you have? You've got Machop. See, I told you, I'd go with Machop over um, Makuhita in most cases. But Marsh Tomp is still going to uh, win. We're going to Water Gun. We already know that Rock Tomb is not going to be useful against Machops. Focus Energy, boosting his own chance of crits. Uh, very helpful move, but not exactly the most useful. Um, Low sweep. If he crits me, then I guess I have to take back my words. He crit me. However, I think it actually reinforced my words right there. Um, your crit did 18 damage. I'm sorry, 16 damage. Even less. Uh, not even enough to really make me go, I need to heal. We'll take another level. This is the lowest I'd want to be to take on the gym. And it's not for the word move bide. I did never want to use bide as a, a strategy. Because, yes, you can hit pretty hard with Bide, however, if Pokemon, if they've got more than one Pokemon, using Bide on any of them is just, just a recipe to get yourself hurt. There's no need for Brawly to be involved, I'll crush you. And I, I hope you do do a few damage to maybe four. Uh, that will make it definitely worth it. Uh, what we don't have right now on our people is anything to buff our attack or defense. So right now, our only real method is just straight damage, which is a bit troublesome because um, unless we get a way to buff ourselves, anything that's too strong for us to kill in one or two hits is going to become troublesome much sooner because while we're faster than a lot of things, we aren't faster than everything. And then being able to one or two, like, get turns to make themselves stronger, like uh, using Iron Defense or using um, Withdraw or anything like that, make themselves even more defensively tanky, they're going to last a lot longer against us, especially with the odds to heal. Without us being able to buff on our own side to balance the odds. But we do have an X special attack, which I think I'll use against Brawly, because I want to use um, Water Gun a lot. We're going to use another potion. 55 HP, I think we'll be fine. We're gonna give another Oranberry, because, yeah, Paralysis or Poisoning, both helpful, not what we need right now. So we'll just run over, um, I forget where exactly the path is. There we go. So if we step on this light, it actually turns on Brawly's area. And you can see we can't have actually came in this way, so the path to the other side isn't too helpful. Let's take on Brawly. Hello, how are you doing? I'm Brawly Duford's gym leader. Turn by in the rough waves of these parts and grown on top using the cave of the outskirts of the town as my training grounds, as well as the equipment in this gym. Let's see what you're made of. And here it goes, we're ready to fight Brawly. Hello, Machop. 
not the biggest risk right off the bat. And uh, the reason I even made that little um, statement saying like, hey, oh, we need a way to buff ourselves is because I'm going to take advantage of buffing myself this, this battle. So I have an X attack and an X special. Well, our attacks, we only have tackle and rock. Neither one of those is going to be too helpful. So we're actually going to want a special attack here. Boost that up. And we'll actually get ready to take things down. Now that our special attack has been buffed, it actually goes by a, a full stage at this point. I like in Gen 7 where it actually doubles. Look, he's bulking up. Just to make himself a little stronger. We're going to water gun again. And Machop is down. That was nice and quick. Uh, in the original game, he's I think there are 18 and 20 are their two levels. Uh, this time they're 14 and 16. The 16 is going to be a troublesome one. That's why I wanted to give myself a little more damage. Knock off, knocks off our Ranberry. Uh, troublesome. I was hoping to get to use it uh, for this next hit. But Makuhita goes down thanks to Water Gun. Uh, this part actually went a lot quicker than I thought. I guess it doesn't help that we did wind up taking a part at the beginning. Because I wanted to do the um, Mr. Briny's hut and everything before our way through here. We've beaten him, we've got our gym badge. Uh, I do not want to, however, go after um, Steven yet. Because I feel that that's going to be a long enough thing it makes sense to do in the next part. So, by the way, if you've been to Granite Cave, it's no good north. Real stuff? My friend Steven rushed into the cave after I told him about it. Yeah, he tells you Steven is in the cave. And it's really easy to leave here. You just walk, you take the steps, and you're out. So I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys for coming out watching Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch. And in the next part, we go see Steven. Have a great day.